The Coulomb Creek Environmental Reserve is located on the Marucci River floodplain amidst cane fields and coastal developments. The reserve provides an important reminder of the rich diversity of ecosystems that once flourished on the coastal plains of the Sunshine Coast. The original portion of the reserve was purchased in 2000 in partnership with the Queensland Government. Over subsequent years, Council, through the Environment Levy, has been able to expand the reserve by purchasing adjoining blocks, with the most recent land purchase being in partnership with the Commonwealth Government. The reserve now covers 440 hectares of land and supports a high diversity of plant and animal communities. Much of this fertile alluvial floodplain was cleared in the early 20th century for agricultural purposes, so there is a mix of mature and regrowth vegetation on the site. A great way to view the different vegetation communities and wildlife is on the water. Mature mangrove forests fringing Coulomb Creek includes grey mangrove and orange mangrove, as well as the mangrove fern. The reserve includes several regional ecosystem types that are listed as of concern, including the swamp she-oak forests, freshwater swamps and shrubby open forests dominated by brush box. The reserve network provides significant protected habitat for both resident and migratory wildlife, predominantly lost through extensive clearing across the Marucci floodplain. The reserve contains important fish habitat areas, including mangrove and salt marsh communities. This is a huge mangrove tree, it's about five metres round. Yeah, you don't often see them this, um, this big. It's a very old example of a, a grey mangrove. Um, you can see all of the, the roots on the, on the floor of the forest are from this mangrove and the, the knee roots, the knobbly roots, are from the other orange mangroves. A lot of work has gone into improving the condition of the reserve. An ambitious project is underway that will restore fish habitat and natural ecological processes to a 600 metre estuarine reach of the Marucci River by reinstating mangroves and establishing a 25 metre riparian buffer. Jan, what was the site like before you started the project? It was a lot like this. It's really degraded. And what are you trying to achieve overall? We're trying to put back habitat in-stream habitat and top of bank um, vegetation. And Kerry, you're planting some now. Why is this so important to you? This site is, it's a very um, cultural significant site to us. Families lived here for many years and hunted and gathered a lot of fish here. It's, it's like a supermarket to us, this uh, river here. And how many of these plants would we be planting out in a day? I can plant up to 800 plants a day. Making a difference for you? I reckon it is, yeah, because it brings a lot of fish habitat. Crab, mud crabs and the poor Marucci, I think she needs a lot of that. Needs a bit of loving. The reserve provides a critical link between the adjacent forest fragments contributing to habitat connectivity in an increasingly fragmented landscape. Habitat connectivity is also critical in allowing plant and animal species to disperse and is expected to be a key factor in the resilience of ecosystems to the impacts of climate change.